for the life of me, uh, I don't understand why some of those decisions were made uh, at the scene of the incident. Security expert Fred Burden says the law enforcement transcripts and footage reviewed by the Texas Tribune shows officers should have reacted differently on May 24th when responding to the gunman inside of Robb Elementary who killed 19 students and two teachers. It's my professional opinion that uh, the first two, three officers on the scene uh, should have entered that classroom in an effort to neutralize the threat uh, with or without the equipment uh, that they had uh, in their possession. Federal and state investigators are combing through the footage. This still shot obtained by the Tribune is taken from a video inside the school during the shooting. Texas Tribune reporter Terry Langford says this kind of response, especially post Columbine, was shocking to watch. Now, within the first 19 minutes, they essentially had what they needed to go in. Their findings from the Tribune report revealed the door to the classrooms where the shooting happened never appeared to be locked. There's also no evidence that any officers tried opening them. Despite Uvalde CISD Police Chief Pete Arredondo previously telling the Tribune he and other officers tried breaching doors, but they were locked. The only thing stopping a hallway of dedicated officers from entering room 111 and 112 was the on-scene commander who decided to place the lives of officers before the lives of children. During DPS Director Steve McCraw's testimony to state lawmakers, he says the way officers reacted set the police force back a decade. Burden tells us the director was spot on. Uh, I don't understand it. Uh, I think that uh, there's a lot of hard uh, lessons that are going to come out of this. Uh, but uh, I'm optimistic that uh, when it comes to these kinds of incidents, that tragedy forces change. And typically when you start looking at some of these events, uh, at times that's the only thing that forces change.